What's going on guys? What's going on Terra Scott? We are back here today for another reaction and first thing I want to say is um for whatever conversations that you guys have in the comment section, um please keep it civil. You know, I've always said this, this is a community and if somebody explains their point about something, there's no need to get dirty. You know what I'm saying? Um, calling each other names and stuff like that. Like that's something that I, I do not, I do not like negativity. Um, everybody's opinion is welcome. Um, you know, we can address it, but we can address it in a informative manner and we can behave ourselves. I believe that we're all adults here. Even if you're, a, if you're a child, you can learn something, right? So just keep it civil in the comment section and everything will be good and, and and cool okay i'm trying to build a community here on youtube with this channel um this is not about getting to a million subscribers this is about building a community it's what i know how to do i know how to build a community i know how to to um to help build people you get what i'm saying um to for them to understand each other and not hate on each other we need to stop hating on people's opinion people's opinion are their own we can agree or disagree without being terrible people right without being without attacking people attacking their character and stuff like that people's opinion are their own if i feel like i don't like something and i explain it to you i don't i'm i'm not asking for you to um to assassinate my character like that's it's dumb to assume that somebody is stupid because they don't like something and i've never said that i've always said that if you don't like something please explain yourself don't just come on my channel and comment i hate this anime no explain yourself i may not understand why you hate it because hi love it but i'm never gonna look at you and be like man you are dumb you are stupid you don't you don't have nothing about you why don't you think a little you know what i'm saying like i will never be like that to you guys i've just always said i just don't understand like when it comes down to code gears i just i really genuinely do not understand why people do not like this anime and i've all and i've always preface it by saying hey you know i understand in certain terms i do understand but it's just that if you would just look at it from this perspective that i've been explaining with the anime for for quite a while now if you look at it from that perspective it's an anime that you can enjoy look at it as something the writer was trying to is trying to teach people lessons here and there and there it's not about the action the action is great when it comes, but it's just the genius writing behind this anime that a lot of, that I believe a lot of people do not get. You get what I'm saying? Like they they don't get it, and I don't know if they're if they're children. I I don't know. I'm not gonna assume that they're children or teenagers or whatever the situation is, and they from an adult situation they can't understand. I'm not a, gonna assume that. I'm just saying, um outright i think anybody that give, gave up on code gia should give it a second chance and just look at it from a different perspective there are a lot of surprises in it but the reason why it is written like that it's because hey this stuff is unexpected because you're like oh man i would have never thought of that you get what i'm saying and that's what the writer is going for when it comes on to shock value it's like you would have never thought of that you would never think that this is coming right and you have to look at it from that perspective as in man i would have never did that i probably would have gave up you get what i'm saying so um so i'm that's why i'm so hyped about that anime you know what i'm saying and then when it comes on to to attack on titan yes i'm confused that don't mean i'm gonna stop watching the anime because i'm confused i'm just confused at the fact of the twist that happened in episode eight which is Eren emerging from that titan that came out of nowhere right i'm pretty sure they're gonna have 
a explanation for this which i'm looking forward to you get what i'm saying um somebody was describing it as over the top transformation they don't care for that um well that's fine if that's not your cup of tea that's fine me personally love transformations i love transformations in anime J you just have to have a great story behind it like how level ups in anime they're going to happen especially if they're shown in animes you're gonna have level ups you're gonna have transformation it's a must when it comes on to shown in animes if i'm not seeing progress i'm not you know what i'm saying if i'm not seeing progress when it comes on to shown in anime it it totally they have a style they have a roadmap that they go after every time for any anime that for any story that that comes in shonen jump there is a roadmap to it this is how they do their anime that's how it is so expect it level ups transformation over the top stuff um funny episodes you're gonna get those right it's shonen anime right so expect that um, so I can't sit here and be like, well, I don't like transformations either. I love transformation, but I love a good story behind it. Like, I love the fact how long it took for Naruto to get to the point where he can, um, get to the point where him and Kurama was one working as a two man team and destroying everybody. Like I, I like how long it took him to do that. If that had happened in part one, it wouldn't have been as satisfying. You get what I'm saying? It wouldn't have been as satisfying. It just wouldn't as been as great as it could be. The moment when it happened, how they set up the moment, you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't have been as great. I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? So it's just crazy sometimes. I'm just asking you guys to keep it civil in in the comment section please everybody's opinion is necessary um yes you know i was confused about um the last couple of episodes i watched I was a little confused there at the end it was dope what the titan what that new titan did you know essentially it, it was dope right so i just want them to have a better explanation have an explanation not a better explanation but a explanation of this situation like i need to know what's going on that's it was me cutting my viewing off at episode eight leave me in a trance because now i'm thinking what's going on as you can see in my review the stuff that i was talking about like i was trying to guess what was happening i don't know if it's going to end up being one of them um so I was also even thinking even before the episode and I was thinking, oh shit, the Titan kind of looks like, you know, he had that stance like Annie, but then somebody said in the comment section that, nah, it's similar, but it's not the same. Okay. Cause I was actually thinking that cause the stance that he went into, um, before he went up against that, um, one of the Titans, um, that he gave him that left hook, right? That's what I was thinking. So I could be wrong who knows um but but yeah just keep it civil in the comment section and we will all be good like don't dismiss somebody's opinion say your piece let the person say their piece say your piece say your piece but there's no need to go into name calling and stuff like that i won't tolerate it here i really won't i will delete your comment in a hot second and if you want to unsubscribe that'll be fine too okay because i'm after I talk about it one time. I just don't want to see it again. Some people are late to the party. I used to talk about this when I used to do, when I was doing just Game of Thrones on the channel because that community, you don't share the same the same view as them. Oh my God! It's like the whole world blew up. You know what I mean? It's like it's it's like you blew up their world of thinking. And I'm gonna say, dude, your opinion is still your opinion. It's still your opinion, man. And I want people to feel that way. I'm not going to dismiss your opinion. My opinion is that it and that's it. My opinion. Your opinion, I always give val validity to people's opinion um, even though I have a different one.
always give your opinion validity. I may agree with certain things and I would say, okay, I agree on you on this, but this, no, I don't, dis I, I disagree, right? So that's just how it is. So guys, keep it civil in the comment section, please. Um, I don't want to have to address this again. So if somebody has an opinion of something that we are watching and enjoying, um, and if I have a, if I have a bad, you, I mean, some people said I don't have the greatest reaction to certain things. It's not that big a deal. That's your opinion is how I enjoy it. One thing I don't do is I don't shortchange you guys. So however I feel in that moment, that's how I want to feel. I pay attention. So I'm not all, I'm not all over the place. I'm not cracking jokes about about stuff that is serious in the anime like i understand it about watching anime you have to be attentive especially in animes like this one that is trying to tell a story when you're when you're when you're watching the beginning of an anime you really do have to pay attention because there are certain things that you will miss if you're constantly doing something else that's why i would rather pause the video to talk about what i have to talk about a certain narrative that happened rather than talk over the video you get what I'm saying like I don't want to do that so let's jump into these reaction man I said what I had to say um, so see you guys click that link in the description and let's go watch episodes 9 and 10 okay thank you guys very much it's been great let's go Terra squad All right, so we are back once again. Episodes, what is it, nine through eleven? Gave you guys three episodes today because I had a little bit of extra time. Um, so thank you guys for watching with me over there on the Google Drive or Bit Truth, and we're here to discuss. Anyways, this these three episodes were very enlightened. We got to f um, kind of figure it out. In, ep in, in episode 9, what really is going on? They were they had cannons trained because Mikasa and, and Armin was trying to protect Eren because they knew what went down. Um, but the others that saw him emerge from the, from the Titan's body, you know, they wasn't trusting him. Understandably so. Why would you trust him? You don't know what he's capable of. Maybe they never saw what he did fighting the other Titans. Um, they never saw what he did, so understandably, they would not trust him. Um, killing them, a whole different situation. Um, that guy, the commander that was there before Pixie showed, showed up, was, he wasn't, I don't want to say, he was thinking too much out of fear, not trying to understand where Eren was coming from. It, obvious that Eren didn't remember a damn thing until he got his memories back about his what his dad did to him and stuff like that um him you know not understanding call for the cannon fire Aaron had to protect Mikasa and Armin again you know what I'm saying from the cannon fire by um he said the, the explanation is because he just concentrated on the cannon fire um, that's the reason why he wasn't able to transform fully. So he just, so basically all he has to do is concentrate on what he wants to do and that amount of power will come out. That's what I'm getting from that explanation. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, also the yellow lightning confirmed a lot of things for me, as you see, um, during the reaction, it confirmed the fact that there has to be, um, it seems like the armor titan and the and the um and the colossal titan are also human transformations um so that's what that confirmed for me so is yet to be seen um you know who who it is um I'm guessing is is somebody there because they always just appear out of nowhere you never see like a human um running towards the gate and then you see this happening so maybe it's some somebody on the inside that's doing this just like Aaron we just don't know who it is yet that's what I'm thinking so um because it's, as I've said before it's never you see like a titan running 
towards this stuff and then you see this yellow light and it's always just comes out of nowhere so it could be somebody on the inside it could be somebody's running up to the gate and they don't know this because they're so high high up it could be that um could be that situation too it could be somebody coming from underground it who knows you know these cities uh, they're they're big you know what i mean so but that situation is yet to be seen can't wait for that um explanation or that or if they'll ever reveal that so so um yeah so pixie showed up saved them because um dude was about to fire on them again and pixie showed up held his hand and be like dude slow down so your role bro let's hear what they have to say i mean armin um him being entrusted with saving their lives that's pretty dope because they know he has a way with words he has that that smart you know what i'm saying he has those smarts so i um he was surprised um but i understand why Aaron trusted him to do it not mikasa because he was like yo i'm gonna run and go get to this basement but i do have another option i could stay and help you know what i'm saying become an asset to for for the army you know so um but you would have to convince them, you know, Armin, I trust you to do that. So if you want to take on that responsibility or you can say, no, let's run, let's get out of here because I don't think I can do it. But I do trust you to be able to do that because you've always been that, you know, he, he thinks clearly under pressure. Yeah, we all saw how Mikasa, she was a mess when she found out something happened to to Aaron so I'm looking forward to um so the the plan is for them to um um so what's his name Armin right to go out there and explain he thinks well under pressure so that's why he was chosen by Aaron and Aaron have the inclination to know that kind of proves how you know his noticing things and noticing um things about people you know he does that so um so yeah so i'm glad that pixis came in saved them um dude was kind of acting out of fear and stuff like that so the plan is now for them to use um that power that titan power that aaron has to go ahead and close this hole up in the wall um so pixies had to get them together and as i said before they have done a very good job of keeping that fear factor going you know shout out to to the team man for using music all of this good stuff you know the animation the atmosphere everything is that it's one of the things that i was worried about i'm not so worried about it now so um so yeah i'm definitely digging how this anime these three episodes went down um i'm glad that that girl that was running with aaron she explained the situation to him to un for him to understand the weight of how much they're depending on him right now for him to come through for them so i'm definitely i definitely dig that that they went that far to have someone explain this shit to him right so i definitely definitely love that uh, that they did that so him attacking M mikasa um after he transformed um i don't think anything is wrong with mikasa um obviously um i don't think anything is wrong with her there's no way she's quick so i don't expect anything to be wrong with her. So i'm not worried about mikasa mikasa is going to be she's going to be on that level where she's so elite you get what i'm saying she's so elite like she's worth a hundred soldiers i don't think an attack like that is going to catch her off guard even if it's Aaron coming with it she's going to figure out a way to to because it looks like he's confused it doesn't look like he has control right now obviously because he, he he went after mikasa um don't know why i think maybe he i think something is wrong when he initially does it um but maybe he gets control later and understand what his true objective is. I don't know. He's not. It's obvious. You get a new power, you're not going to have full 
control over it. So I'm happy that they're doing something in that um, respect, right? So definitely, definitely a great opening um, to the anime still so far. Episode 11, um, the season going on strong right now. Even though I was a bit confused from the last reaction, they really, really, really did a great job of picking stuff up in these three episodes from not losing the the whole the the atmosphere that you set up from the get go you get what i'm saying but still for them to have this you know what i'm saying just a little bit of hope but it's not really hope hope you know what i'm saying like it's not a huge hope and in a lot of animes this is where they mess up where they start out they introduce the new power the great power right but they forget about the atmosphere that they set from the get-go like yes you're expecting a hero now the hero has showed up that doesn't mean you stop fighting you get what i'm saying like now we're all depending on the hero and i think i think that's one of the reasons why i'm so turned off by like i don't want to hear any bullshit about dragon ball anymore because there's no explaining the shit that they do in dragon ball anymore we're all just sitting now waiting on goku to come and save the day that you get what i'm saying so there's not that grim feeling anymore of oh shit this dude is about to kick kick this one's ass and this one is we don't know who's gonna come and save the day like back when Dragon Ball Z was going on. You get what I'm saying? You know, we all thought that Gohan was going to be that nigga. And it ended up being they nerfed him like a mug. You know what I'm saying? So, that's not the case. So, animes do mess up this factor as in setting a certain kind of atmosphere to your anime and then you just fuck it up. Let's just be honest. So, the whole idea of them trying to do things a certain way right now i like how they kind of redeemed throughout these three episodes they still showcase that hey people are still out here worried they're still out here fearing absolute fear towards the titans they just want to go home you know what i'm saying and pixies decided that hey if you decide if you want to go home you can bring that fear home or you know what I'm saying? You can bring that fear home. Don't worry about it. We'll pardon you. But you're still going to be bringing that fear home. And then everybody's just going to be fearful. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, your kid is not going to be smiling about anything. Because you're going to see all this fear on you. And kids pick up on that stuff pretty easily. So, definitely love these three episodes, man. Thank you guys for watching with me as always. And I will see you guys for the next reaction, of course. Thank you guys for watching, as always, man. And coming over to the Google Drive or BitChute to watch this. It it, it it was great watching these three episodes. Um, remember to subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, thank you guys for watching with me. And also, um, leave a like on this video. Tell me what you think in the comment section of these three episodes. If they, if you didn't watch it past, and this is the first time you're watching past episode eight, let me know if you, if you see it from a different perspective now and understand it, you know, due to my explanation, um, you can let me know that. You can also let me know what did you think the first time you watched this, okay? If it was dope to you, if it, you know what I'm saying, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy, Terabyte Reacts, and peace. See you guys next time.